All right, let's go explore Superstition Mountain a little bit. Like the actual mountain, we're right up on it this time. All right, well there's superstition in the background, just on that, beyond that hill. We're gonna see how close we can get to it. It's about two and a half, three miles away from my little spot where I'm camped. Well, it's a little chilly today. It feels like 49 with this wind. It's only like 50 outside, even in the sun. why you always gotta be prepared wearing my jacket here there she is superstition mountain well, I wonder what that is over there it's like more free camping I don't know how you get in there I came from that way over here you can't even see where I'm camped anymore I'm always running up on barbed wire fences in the middle of nowhere. I think that's just to keep things out, like animals, from getting to the road. Not to keep you from... Like they don't want you to hike down here or something. Even if they didn't, I personally don't care. I'm gonna live, I live in America, and I'm going to hike where I want to hike. Eat that. Alright, we're going to attempt to get to those little mountains in front of Superstition. Gotta go through a whole bunch of crap, though. I can make it. Let's do this. Well, we were just up there. We're making it. What in the heck is this? It says Molly Marie Midsend on it. Midsend. Weird grave marker, if that's what it is. Washes are so cool. Just randomly on the path. Ooh, gotta clear this cactus. <sighs> Barely made it. <laughs> There's some more weird trinkets in the middle of the desert. Some painted rock with flowers. Some piece of metal that's painted. I guess with the flag. So satisfying, Gila beer. They just painted that on there. Some random bottles. The random stuff people leave out here. Here's that road we saw from that hill. That leads to that other little looking campground area. <laughs> No real way to get through all this crap. Here we go. All right. Ah! Oh, we're in a big wash now. Man, I hear something big. Where is it? Like an enormous helicopter. Oh yeah, he's way up there. I see him now. 
looks like we hit a dead end or not where I want to go is up here so we climbing now all right tall grass don't want to run into a snake well there it is we're about there it's the uh, fourth of a mile left climb to the top of that and check out the view just so y'all are clear we are going right up there in the middle right about there see how high I can get up there now we're not talking about the mountain back there guys I need to go to the other side to get to that or use climbing equipment to get up this face of the mountain well I'm gonna take a minute since it's kind of cool here in this little wash just relax we'll go hit up that in about 20 minutes well there's a big hill right in front of the mountain we're gonna go in front of I did not see this one all right look at how bright that green grass is yes grass in the desert it's more like crab grass <laughs> Well, found this horse trail leading around that hill. Which actually I noticed a barbed wire fence seems to be blocked off. Oh yeah, there it is right in front of me. About 30 feet, I didn't notice it. Well, damn it. We're going over there anyways. Oh yeah, there's a full gap in the fence right here. can barely see superstition in the background there's where we're headed Let's see how far I can get up there and it's gonna take me a minute still and we have come a long way to get to this spot boy it's windy hope it's not too windy for you guys you can actually hear my voice we're gonna try to get to those little rocks there first. All right, we're just about to that outcrop of rock up there. I don't know how far I'm actually gonna be able to climb up this. Hmm, real cool. I'd love to go over there too. Well, I'm gonna take a break right here and then head for the summit a little bit here. Boy, that wind is intense. I had to get behind this rock just to film this. Put my jacket back on. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get up there. My phone's at like 20% because the RV, when we're not plugged in, doesn't charge it fast at all. So I left today with not much charge. And it's kinda too steep. I'm gonna try to get at least to like right here so we can see the other side of the mountain. Ooh. Yeah, that 
it's way too windy. Feels good, I just can't feel much in it because it's too much static. Awesome. All right. I know I've said that enough. We are almost there. So I had to climb up all this just to avoid all those bushes. Can't walk through them. Man, I'm at 15%, guys. We're almost done here. Well, after making it from all the way over there, you can't even see my campground anymore. All the way up this. I do not think I'm going to be able to scale that safely without some real carabiners. There's superstition, though. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a cave at the bottom of that little mountain right there. Very Lord of the Rings looking. With that in the background. Ha ha. Look at all the different layers. Especially like right there. Ooh, it's a little windy. I know I've mentioned it in one of my other videos, but that right there is the flat iron. It's a couple hundred yards or feet or whatever, just straight flat area to walk on up there. Check it out, I might go look at this cave, man. It's not that far away. And there's a path that'll take me back. It's just really cool looking. Hopefully I'll have battery life. I doubt it. We'll see. Alright, I'm gonna end the video right here. Smell you later.